Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. And I love you guys for the immense support and feedback you have been giving me. And this is a shout out to my amazing Patreons family and I love you guys. So anyways, moving on. Today we are going to discuss another really good penny stock in my opinion, which has a huge upside potential. But before we start, please, this is a small request to hit and smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, then just do it. <laughs> you will benefit from it and I would really appreciate that so if you guys also are interested in joining our amazing patron family then the link is in the video description now guys this is a disclaimer and this is quite important especially in this scenario where the market is experiencing and like we already saw in case of certain stocks since one or two days these huge short squeeze and hedge funds um, manipulation and stuff like that that's why please consider that I am not a financial advisor and this is not a selling or a buying suggestion whatsoever. Also, like I said, in this market scenario, penny stocks are subjected to huge volatility. So please, please be careful and please be careful with your money and book your profits. I mean, okay, in such a market, only few stocks might see a huge green run. If you're in loss, then please have some patience market correction might happen soon but i'm sure that before it happens you would be able to take out your initial investment at least and book some profits as well so these penny stocks might give you an edge over let's say the big giants and in such cases that's why i also do invest in penny stocks this is the only reason because some penny stocks do help me to regain my losses over other stocks as well so anyways like i said this is just my opinion my suggestion for penny stocks and no one should be blindly investing in any penny stocks please check what are the upcoming catalysts for those penny stocks if you think they are for long-term hold then please check the company properly and check the financials of the company in that case plus the most important thing is to check that if the company has been performing quite good like i said from the financials plus if the product on which this company is working does have a future so all these things should be kept in mind and of course the technical analysis is important when we are trading for short-term trading in case of penny stocks so with that being said now let's just jump on to our amazing penny stock so guys the stock which we are going to talk about today is atosa therapeutics so atosa therapeutics is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company seeking to discover and develop innovative medicines in areas of significant unmet medical need atosa's current focus is on breast cancer and covid 19 and this is what makes this uh, biotech company quite interesting because we know that any biotech company and every biotech company which is working with treatment of COVID-19 will be awarded eventually and plus so their main current focus after COVID-19 is of course breast cancer on which they have been working on since long. So they believe that their innovative therapies and delivery methods can benefit COVID-19 patients and transform breast cancer treatment with the goal of preventing breast cancer from developing in the first place which is quite good. And this is the second interesting thing about Atosa Therapeutics that they have two COVID-19 therapeutic programs under development. One is for severely ill patients who are on ventilators. Another one is for the patients which are at home or which are just in quarantine. So who are recently diagnosed with COVID-19 who do not require hospitalization. So they are also developing a drug endoxfin to reduce mammographic breast density. And for patients who have recently been diagnosed with the most common type of breast cancer to reduce tumor activity prior to surgery, approximately one in eight women and one in 1000 men will be diagnosed with breast cancer, which is quite sad during their lifetime. Every two minutes, an American woman is diagnosed with breast cancer and 40,000 die each year. Okay, I don't want to read anything further. Okay, so these are the two basic programs which Atosa Therapeutics is working on. Okay guys, so here is the pipeline chart for the Atosa's clinical programs regarding their breast cancer program and COVID-19. So these are the colors. So here, if we go below, we have the color codes, definition. So dark purple or light purple, not applicable, super dark purple in progress. A bit light purple completed and light pinkish purple I don't know planning stage no offense girls but girls are quite or women are quite good with colors and me being a man I have 
I am not so good with colors and I'm not definitely colorblind so just to let you guys know but anyway so moving on the first program is 8301 or the first product is 8301 which is regarding COVID-19 nasal spray and has already been completed with phase one trials and moving on we have COVID-19 hope the other product and this is to improve lung function on ventilators so this is for the critical patients and is already in phase two clinical trials and then endoxfen this is for female breast cancer so to reduce the breast density so for mammographic breast density in sweden it has been already completed and then in males treating gynecomastia so gynecomastia is an abnormal non-cancerous enlargement of uh, men's breast so because of their breast tissues enlargement and then we have oral treatment in females for the window of opportunity before the surgery and refractory endoxfen supplementation and mammographic breast density in Sweden has already been cleared. So these are some of the pipeline projects guys and I see that this company particular company Atosa Therapeutics has So this is just a short overview about the company and uh, that I personally feel that this company has quite a good room for growth and that's why I personally as a disclaimer I want to clarify this that this is a disclaimer that I personally would be investing in this company and how well this I will let you know in the chart. Okay so now having a quick look at Atosa Therapeutics chart. So this is a six month chart and as you can see it is quite above the moving average the simple moving average and there's a big gap here and we will use this gap to determine our entry point anyways and if you see the rsi so rsi is coming uh, yeah it's coming down because now it's being uh, getting towards an oversold category or let's say not oversold but uh, selling category and if you see the macd there is a divergence between the moving averages which is not that good but let's move on to our five day chart yeah and if we see here in the five day chart, the chart is close enough to the moving average, the simple moving average. And as you can see in the pre-market, it's 1.92 at $1.92. And what I can think of from here is that you see this gap, what we talked about. So this is the point at $1.86 where it just went and created a big gap. And now it's at $1.92. So what I think is that it won't go maybe it will just fill up this gap right here and it won't go beyond 1.86 dollars so what i would do in this case i would buy and i would open up a position at 1.92 dollars now and i will wait until it reaches either 1.86 or at these one of these support levels which are really small 1.73 or somewhere in this range between 1.73 or 1.86 so i will wait until if it reaches at this but most probably i am thinking that it should bounce off from 1.86 but again guys i can be more than 100 percent wrong this is just my analysis yeah so don't just please be dependent completely on this analysis but so anyways so like i said that would be my strategy so i will open up a position at 1.92 1.93 whatever the price is when the market opens and then let's say i will put just 30 percent of my total investment what i want to invest in atosa therapeutics and then i will wait until it drops at uh, one of these levels either 1.73 or 1.74 or 1.86 but like i said most probably what i see that it should not go beyond 1.86 that's my opinion but anyways if it goes then of course i will just average down more must fill this gap like now it is filling that gap but until 1.86 the gap will be filled so in that case i think that it will bounce back so this is just my opinion and as you can see that there will be a big gap created between the simple moving average and 1.90 dollars so as you can see it dropped more so this is what i think it might drop up to 1.86 dollars in worst case and after that it should bounce back and you see the rsi is also quite good it's not that bad it's around 50 and you see that the macd divergence is less and also there will be a big gap created like i said between the simple moving average and the stock price so it is a bearish chart but i will definitely open up a position at 1.93 whenever the market opens i will open up a position between 1.89 and 1.95 something if it stays there for sure i will open up a position and like i said i will wait or average it down until 1.86 so what i'm going to do is that i will invest 30 percent like i said and then 
I will keep a uh, rest of the 30% at 1.86 if it goes at 1.86 and then the remaining 30% or 40% I will keep if it drops until 1.73 or below. So I will be doing two times dollar cost or euro cost averaging and then I will just simply wait. So like I said, I personally think that it can easily reach up to these levels. 3.7 or even four dollars depending upon its pipeline projects and the upcoming catalyst and yeah so that is what i'm going to do and yeah since there are many upcoming catalysts for this particular company so i think that is the worst uh, position where it can reach and after that it should bounce back but again guys this is just my opinion these are penny stocks these are high risk stocks please be careful with your money and please keep some money aside for averaging these penny stocks down because you will face high volatility because people are literally buying these in thousands and they just short sell it when they get some profit. And this is what is the strategy for penny stocks. Yeah, if you're trying to hold for long term, then don't bother about the volatility, but just please do your due diligence that does that particular company has a future. If not, then my strategy is always to exit the market after taking or booking the profits. So guys, please, I'm repeating this again and again. This is because I care for you guys and please be careful with your money because every single person who is watching this video I know is earning their money by giving their blood and sweat. So please take care of your money. So guys, that's it. That's all for Atosa Therapeutics. Again, this is just my personal opinion, guys. Please do your own due diligence with all the penny stocks which anyone out there mentions. Don't just blindly jump into these penny stocks because you can literally lose a lot of money or let's say all of your money. So please be careful with them. And yeah, with this, I'll conclude my today's video. I promise you guys, I will keep delivering you guys with really amazing penny stocks or investments or valuable investments. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and ciao.